Oh yeah, it is a rainy day here in Texas. But that's okay, because it's never kept me from getting a good workout. We're going inside the studio now. Today is day 11 of our 30 day weight training fitness challenge. And I'm just gonna quick show you a little bit of my studio. Here it is. This is where I shoot most of my videos. Sometimes I shoot them outside uh, at, at the house. Okay, here is the wall of our warriors here. Just a few people who have gotten great results here. And Silvano Alves right there. He is a three-time PBR world champion bull rider. My favorite bull rider in the whole wide world. And if you catch us, if you're, if you're on Netflix, catch us on Netflix because it shows a documentary of our training session. Yeah, so I'm gonna set this up. We're gonna get started. One of these days I'll be able to do a professional video, but for right now, this is what you get. Okay, like I said, today it's functional. We got functional training, and we're gonna start with the single-legged touchdown. I'm warmed up, I've already warmed up, and I'm ready to go. The object of the game here is to keep your balance as much as you possibly can. That's one thing we have to remember. Um, another thing is when you bring this leg up off the floor, um, try not to anchor it to the next leg, okay? Because we wanna work this as much as we possibly can. So our left leg is up off of the floor, and we're gonna take this down to our right leg and we got 30 seconds and we got 10 seconds break. So you're gonna leave your knee and your foot in line and you're just gonna raise up and down. Try to keep a balance, nice good balance. You don't have to go down that far. Now you should be feeling a little bit in your hip here or a lot. Day 11 of our 30 day weight training fitness challenge right here. Functional training is where it's at. Everybody needs to start in the functional stabilization phase because it's the beginning of every single workout that you do. So everything you do involves your core, your core movement system. There you go. Oops, I was supposed to keep my feet together. We can do a, a deadlift too and I'll show you that one next. Next time we go around, because we're gonna go twice through this whole thing. Oops. You lose your balance, it's okay. Just hop back in where you left off. Okay, the next is the lunge wood chop. So I'm gonna step back with my left leg. I'm gonna face forward on this one because I want you to see the alignment of the knees and the hips. Here. Okay, the left leg is bending in the back. It's not locked out. Not, uh, you're not extending your hip at all. And you should be feeling it in your core. The knee is right in line with the foot and the hip. You don't ever want to drive your knee in and you don't want to ever get sloppy on this move because it's one of the best moves ever. I love the lunge wood chop. You can also do these just standing up just like this. Okay, now I'm going to switch legs. Notice the feet are about hip width apart. You're gonna lunge down slightly. And I'm gonna take it to the other side. Yeah. Exhale. The hips are even. plank row. It's okay to come down on your knees, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take it to my toes on this one. And you're just gonna pull. Now if these hurt your hands, it's totally fine to do this right here. Notice the hips aren't hiked up. They're not rocking back and forth because that'll just take away from the work of your core. Go back to two. Okay. That is a plank row. The next one is the scissor. You're gonna bring your left leg up or your left leg out, your right leg up. Both feet are flexed. This is an isometric hold. 
If you need to, drop that left foot on the floor, but make sure that your feet are flexed. Your toe to your head. Head, neck, and shoulders up. Lower back press to the floor. And you're breathing. Okay. We got the other side. Okay, ready? Left leg up, right leg out. Here we go. Now you can drop your neck and shoulders, head, neck and shoulders, but make sure it's difficult enough for you. I mean, you can hang out like this. Just make sure that lower back is pressed to the floor. You're working really, really hard at squeezing your abs and breathe. That's the main thing is that breathing, get more oxygen to your muscles so you don't tire as easily. Sometimes we try too hard. Sometimes we try too hard and end up holding our breath. I do it too. I ain't no saying. Oh, windmill's next. Ready? You said, here's a good one. Exhale at the top. It's the only way you're gonna get deep in the abs. down a little further if you want to. This is my bum knee, so I always have issues with this side. But it's all good because I, I keep going. Be real careful. If you need to, hold on to a wall. Okay, lunge with chop. Ready? I'm going to face sideways this time. And here we go. I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell here. If you need to, just drop the weight. Just drop the weight and just keep moving. Gross scissors. 
go. Here we go. Head, neck, and shoulders up off the floor or drop them if you need to. Just make sure your neck stays in line and you're not doing this right here. Keep that neck in line with the spine. Tighten your quad, abs, and of course your glutes. We have the other side, ready? Get set, <laughs> and go. Stretch it out, squeeze your glutes, toe to the nose, everything. Squeeze your quad, press your quad to your face, and hold it. Now, if you have issues with those, you can also do this right here, but two weeks down the road, you don't want to be still holding on to your leg. If you got to start like that, go ahead. Windmill, ready? You know, if you're just starting out on these, this is fine right here. This is just fine. This is day 11. Day 11. 30 day weight training fitness challenge. Go. Oh, yeah. And that's it. That was two rounds. Now, if it wasn't enough for you, if you go back to day seven, you can combine these two videos together and it would be just a kick and workout if you need more, if you need more. So we had a really good functional day and tomorrow is day 12. So if you haven't checked this out on Netflix, go ahead and check out the movie Fearless and check out those bull riders and see what they go through. And uh, cause I'm in there, episode five. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Ciao.